the ultimate sticky bun. Hmm. Oh, hey guys. Welcome to Lovely Lady Cakes. I'm Anna. And I don't know what we're making today. I have been going through some recipes, trying to get inspired, and I have no idea what we're gonna make. Oh. Who's at my door? Who? Oh, Harry the Sound Guy. Who is Catherine with you? You mean Catherine Reitman, the host of Breaking It Down, the internet's most outrageous and lovely movie review show? Yeah, yeah, is she here? She is not here. It's just me. <sighs> okay, what are you doing here? Well, I was going through some trash and I found this package which was addressed here. <gasps> thought I'd deliver it. Why, thank you. Thank you very much. Now, uh, perhaps a treat? Uh, treats are only for Catherine. Ah, ah, she promised. Oh. Sweet, I got a package. And did you like my neighbor, Harry the Sound Guy? Ooh, let's see where it's from. What do we get? from the Naked Sweet Shop. Thanks guys for sending me some vanilla beans. This kind of gives me a great idea. We can make fresh vanilla pudding. What a great idea! Let's go get making some vanilla pudding. How sweet of the Naked Sweet Shop to send me two vanilla beans now, I love vanilla pudding. It's such a southern comfort. We're gonna put some bananas with it and top it off with a little Milano cookie. So, let's get started. In a separate bowl, we're gonna put one third cup of sugar. We're gonna add four eggs and mix that up with a wire whisk. Now cornstarch is the thickening agent to our vanilla pudding and after a while when it's in the fridge it'll start to thicken up. So this is very important. You can substitute it. One fourth teaspoon salt. So now we're going to put two and one half cups of milk in my saucepan and put it over a medium high heat. And then using my fresh vanilla beans from the Naked Sweet Shop, thanks again, um, I'm going to use one and one half teaspoons of this and add it to the milk right now. But if you're using vanilla extract, hold off. I'll tell you when to put it in. Then we're putting this over here on our stove on a medium high heat. And we want it to get a little warm, not too hot, not too cold. So when it starts to get warm, we're going to temper it in our eggs. Okay, the milk is nice and warm. And the next step is to temper it into our eggs. Tempering just means to add a little bit of the warm milk in with the eggs because we don't want to cook them. Then transfer the liquid back into the bowl. Back on the heat. Now, once you put this egg mixture back on the stove, you have to babysit it. So I have a spoonula and constantly you want to just make sure and scrape the bottom so nothing will burn on the bottom and keep babysitting it until you see that first one or two bubbles and it starts to boil and then we're going to take it off the heat. Alright, I just took it off the stove and you might want to use your whisk to get out any little lumps so it's nice and smooth. And then we want to add our three tablespoons of butter and Right now is the time, if you used vanilla extract, to add your vanilla extract right now because if you added it earlier, it would have burned it all off and it wouldn't taste very vanilla -y. Now we need to pour it in a shallow dish and stick it in the refrigerator so it will cool. And now it's, pre it's pretty much ready. You could get a spoon and start eating it or you can make it look really pretty. So first I'm going to line my cup with vanilla wafers and just layer it up so it looks pretty on the outside. 
Then add a dollop of your vanilla pudding right on inside. And then what's gonna make this really yummy is I'm gonna slice up a little banana and stick it inside the pudding. So it gives it a really good flavor. Okay, we're almost finished with the vanilla pudding. So typically you'll see a little whipped cream on top, but I'm gonna stay away from the whipped cream today and use Milano cookies. I'm just gonna crunch them up and put it on top. Ooh, it's looking dangerously good. Mmm, this vanilla pudding is so yummy. I hope you guys learn how to make this. And thank you, Naked Sweet Shop, for sending me some vanilla beans and getting me inspired with this week's video. I'll see you guys next time, and don't forget to subscribe. See you later, bye-bye. Hey guys, and welcome to this week's Cake Talk. Okay, last week we made French macaroons, and I asked you, what is your flavor, your favorite kind of flavor, inside the macaroon? And DNK plus seven said that they like lemon curd. Yum, I love that one. Unicorn Cakes said coffee macaroons. I ate K-pop 83 said that they like to try raspberry macaroons with some buttercream filling and some coconut shavings on the side. <laughs> this week's question, I want to know from you guys what we should make with all this vanilla beans that I have left over. So leave me your comments of what type of recipe we can make together with all those vanilla beans. And I will see you guys next week. I will be putting up a Baking With My Subs directions. So you'll have two weeks to get me your video responses. And I'll see you next time. See you later. Bye.